Good morning, good evening, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going for round two. Yeah, we're back to the same fishing spot on last time. So last time I only fished for one hour, which is uh, pretty short for me. Usually I uh, fish longer than that, but then it's uh, in the daytime and there's absolutely no fish on the shore. We're back here in Grand Perry, Joe Pool Lake. This is the dock. I used to fish here in the dock, but uh, yeah, they banned fishing here. Unless you have a boat parking spot on the dock, then you're not allowed to fish here. This is a fishing hot spot right here. There's like a whole bunch of bass hiding under the dock. A bunch of them. So, on this video, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. I think I'm going to divide this into two parts. Because the GoPro can only record up to 40 some minutes per battery. So I'm going to try to divide two parts into around 30 minutes or a little bit more than that. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I don't see uh, much trash around here because uh, they pretty much uh, banned fishing in this area before. There's like a whole bunch of trash because uh, there's people, they like to litter. I mean, come on guys, pick up your own trash. That's why, you know, they, they been fishing spot here. So much trash that people left behind. Food wrapper, fishing line, fishing hook, you name it. So right now the water looks a, a little bit cleaner than it used to. But you know, bad. It's pretty bad for the rest of us who just wanna go fishing and have a little bit of fun without uh, being told where to fish and where not to fish. So we're back here. We're, we're gonna go on the bottom of the bridge. I hope I brought a extra fishing line so I can change out my line. I am using my main line. I am using a 30 pound braided fishing line with a 15 pound lead uh, clear floor it's not florence fluorescent it's not mono mono line it's a what's the other line yeah it's a clear line for the lead so the fish uh, don't see the line when they bite onto the bait hopefully i brought the line so uh, on this video we are gonna uh, touch on a, a lot of topics so in the early morning around maybe 1 or 2 a.m. morning I heard a news that President Trump and his wife has COVID well uh, I'm not totally surprised by that news because you know uh, he's one of the hardest working president I've seen in my life uh, growing up here in the United States I mean every week he go to at least two or three of his rally I mean do you see any president that do that no but you see sleepy Joe down on his basement for months on end he barely go to any of his uh, rally because there's no attendance Nobody wanted to go see him, but you often Tom hear the polls that Joe's leading. Well, I think that's uh, full of BS because I mean, if you go to his rally, there's like literally a few people, just a few people. You you can even uh, count them with your hand. I mean, it's just uh, pretty pathetic. 
the only thing that he win is uh, propaganda. I mean, you switch to every channel, they're all rooting for Joe. They're all rooting for Sleepy Joe. I mean, that guy, most of the time he couldn't even remember where he is or his own name for that matter. I don't know what got into uh, the Democrats' mind to uh, select that guy as a uh, as a running up to a president. I don't know what's in uh, going on in the mind right there. They're pr pretty far gone right now. The Democratic Party, they used to be a, a very good party for the people, but that was back when Kennedy is alive. After that, it's just it pretty much uh, went downhill. They're going too far to the left. They're going too far to uh, socialism and communism, which uh, most of us uh, immigrants here uh, go away from to go to the United States. I mean, that's one of the reasons that most of us go to the United States, isn't that right? I mean, if you're an immigrant, put down a comment below. Is that one of the main reasons you want to get away from your country? So why would anybody want the same policy that in their own communist country or socialist country to be reenacted here in the United States? The communists and uh, socialists promise people a lot. They promise equality. They promise all kind of benefit, much like the Democratic Party of today in the United States. But do you know where all this benefit came from? Well, it got to come from some something, right? Some place. Okay, I'm gonna get a. Uh, see if i brought my fishing line with me hopefully i do if i do that's gonna take a lot of time to uh, put in a new fishing line i just went to academy today to uh, buy new fishing line and uh, totally forgot just left it at home and went home and just left it at home so it looked like we don't have any uh, main fishing line with us well get wrecked yeah we don't have main fishing line with us so that suck but anyway we can still go fishing it's not really that difficult but I did uh, brought my 12 pound fishing line Sometimes I use a 15 pound fishing line. Uh, this is a clear fishing line. Berkeley, great fishing line. I use this uh, fishing line for my leads. Okay, I need to uh, put this down somewhere. Give me one second. It's really difficult to uh, do this change out my leads I mean I don't have to change out my leads unless it's like uh, there's a problem with the leads look like it's still good it's not fray or anything so we're gonna leave that alone all we need to do is put some bait on the line And I like to use this uh, simple plastic worm bait. Just something like this. I mean, this works great. All, all fish can pretty much identify to uh, this kind of shape. They think it was a worm or something. So you know, great, great for fishing. Caught many fish with just worm. Nothing uh, special.
So using drop shot, I just put the worm right on the end of the drop shot. I mean, I could do that way, but that's it. That's all I need to do. Uh, this uh, worm is kind of big, but that's okay. After that, just spray some sauce. Just uh, spray some scent. I use Bing, Bing formula. I use this for years and it works. The bass love it. Sometimes they could, couldn't let go of it. And that's how you catch fish. Okay, that's uh, the base uh, pretty heavy, but it should work. Okay, let's put this backpack back on. Okay, let's check my camera again. We have a couple of speedboat coming by. Pretty cool. Is my camera still on? Am I recording? Sometimes I don't even know if I'm recording or not. This GoPro is kind of slow sometimes. Yes, yeah, recording. So yeah, let's do this. We're 12 minutes into the video. Uh, let's continue to talk about our topics. President Trump and his family. So never before I've seen somebody being attacked so much on the news the TV you name it do you guys know do you guys know that the six main station in the United States the TV station is owned by one person you might not know that do you it's the yeah, this guy is uh, pretty anti-Trump, so you guessed it, he don't like him. So he gonna blast all sort of propaganda on all of his TV station and various newspaper. I mean, you flip the channel, they said the same thing. The same thing over and over again. Even for news that isn't related to Trump, you'll hear the same news again and again you flip the station but you really only get one type of news and that's the news that they want to push so yeah i don't watch uh, mainstream media any longer i mean i used to uh, eat it all up hook line and sinker i mean i, I used to have like CNN, cnn apps on my phone on my tablet and everything ABC, NBC, I used to watch all of them, but uh, they are too far gone from reality. They are not really here for you and I. They're here for their own interests. I mean, just think about it. How do they make the money? They don't just uh, give you the truth all the time. They might blast out a couple of uh, articles uh, to uh, get you to believe that everything they said is true, truthful, and then you know from then on they just blast propaganda over and over again on every station, every channel, every newspaper. It's just the same thing over and over again. It's nothing new. It's nothing to improve your quality of life. It's nothing to improve your net worth. I mean. Yeah, so you can see my fishing line is like very white right now. This line used to be 
dark green and you don't have fish so much that it turned to white. That's why I need to change out this fishing line. Yeah, I think when I get home, I, I'm gonna change it. Uh, this is a 30 pound braided fishing line, I believe. It might be 40, I don't remember. Yeah, this uh, this is not a good time to fish. I mean, it's it's pretty bright outside. It's like three or four in the afternoon. Like I, like I said on my last fishing video, I don't care about the time of the day that I go fishing. When I feel like go fishing, I just go fishing. And depending on the month doesn't matter which time of the day you go fishing you can still catch a fish but uh, lately it's uh, really hard to catch a fish so anyway let's talk about drop some more I'm not like uh, a hardcore trump tart or anything like that I'm sort of in the middle sometimes I support them sometimes I don't but the reason I know I'm supporting the right guy is that the uh, the estab establishment media constantly attacking him. You know the people, the corporate millionaires, your your billionaire Hollywood. They all attack him. So I know I'm voting for the right person because you know corporate billionaire they they don't care about you. They just want to sell you more suicide pills and fast food and all the stuff. If you flip the channel you should know what I'm talking about look at the advertisement you know like what kind of advertisement you see in these mainstream media uh, do okay so the bait is just kind of messed up right there I mean if you flip your channel the only type of advertisement you see is your corporate media uh, corporate uh, billionaires like Nikes, McDonald's, I know, like uh, all sort of pharmaceutical company. I mean, yeah, they're not out for your own good. They're just out there for the money. They don't care about you. And why should you listen to them? I mean, yeah, just there's a fly on my fishing rod. That's why I don't watch mainstream media anymore. I don't trust them. I mean, once in a while they have some good article, but you know what? Uh, the uh, the bias one pretty much uh, overshadow the the good article, and you know they have they're just so politically motivated these days that uh, I just don't trust them on anything anymore. I mean, I'm Asian, I'm Vietnamese, but I pretty much watch this, not watch this, I pretty much scan through the news every day on both American and Asian news. And I realized that pretty much all the major Asian news, they took the same article from the, uh, the corporate uh, American media like CNN, Washington Post I mean all those guys they, they just rehash the same article on their website, on their newspaper the same type of talking point I mean this propaganda they they spread guys if you guys haven't heard the term the good news don't travel too far but but propaganda, they'll travel for miles. And that is what's going on in this country. That's what's going on in this world. You don't often hear good news that uh, President Trump want to uh, send out to the American people, but all you're hearing is just negative stuff over and over again on mainstream media because that's all they want to cover. 
So nothing so far, no fish, no bite. Uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, this time it's pretty out bright outside. It's probably won't won't be any fish. So we're like uh, 20 minutes in or something. So yeah. I mean, I'm not really surprised that uh, Trump, his wife, even his family have uh, the uh, uh, Corona beer in the in the blood because you know he he go to so many events. He's the hardest working man I ever seen. He's not worth any. I've, he's not worth any party at first, like. If you hear his uh, first presidential debate, I mean, both the Republican and the Democrat, they both hate him. So, so then, right there, I know that this guy is a guy that I want to put in office. But again, there's uh, some stuff I don't agree with him, like the uh, tariff thing. He tried to tax China and some other country for tariff you know what happened to those tariff taxes the company that buy the item now they're gonna pass that tax on onto onto you American like if you buy the product they're gonna tax you more so the price going up that's just the way it is tax doesn't do anybody any good so I think what President Trump should do is just remove the those tariff, tariff tax I mean to the like the lowest level if you want to compete with other country I suggest like maybe a flat rate of 1% 5% I mean that's good for everyone no taxes is good for everyone except for the uh, career politician of course and just 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 look at your Congress right now how many member of Congress or career politician. Do you think they really look out for you or their pockets? Majority of them has like a flat broke before they uh, took the position and they all became multi-millionaires. Some even become billionaires that they have money under the couch that you don't know about. So yeah, this, these people, they're not, they're not for you. And you can tell, you can tell who's like a career politician. All their lives, they know nothing about anything besides being a politician. And a majority of them are from the uh, Democrat Party. There are a lot of, a lot of them in the uh, Republican Party as well. That's how they make money, through, uh, through uh, leeching on uh, taxpayer, taxpayer and through uh, corporate uh, bribery that's how a lot of law passed is most of those law is not passed by the people the people didn't ask for it but the corporate they will bribe your congressman your your towns your towns person whatever they will bribe bribe all of them to pass the law that they want so why do corporate want to pass a certain law is to benefit themselves like you know like the copyright law in the United States this corporate they abuse this law to no ends you can hear it from many youtuber I mean some youtuber use like three seconds of a clip of the music and they got strike demonetized and all this stuff so that's a uh, extremely that's a extreme case use of uh, corporate uh, censorship and and abuse of power and guess who grant them those kind of power those are your congressmen that's why you know most law passed is uh, by corporate it's not by the people most people just don't ask for it excuse me I'm gonna sneeze 
oh that feels good you know sometimes it feels good to sneeze and then sometimes when you want to sneeze and you couldn't and you feel all bad and stuff so that's good so yeah that's uh, that's why i just don't believe in the corporate media as well as hollywood those entitled people uh have you heard the news recently this uh this one lady who are champion of uh, defund defunding the police hollywood icon she's a champion of uh, defunding the police and then guess what she does the first thing she does when uh, she seizes something she, she don't like she called the police i mean that's that's big hypocrisy come from these people who want to defund the police i mean just it's just crazy right oh let's go go defund the police but uh, you know what if somebody hurt your feelings i'm gonna call the police on you if you see something you don't like i'm gonna call the police i mean these people are hypocrites that's why you should never idolize any sort of uh, Hollywood icons, any of that. I mean, you can like them, but for their acting, but most of these people in real life, they're very horrible human beings. They don't care about you. They care about making uh, the money. They care about uh, making headlines. That's all they care about. So they had all this uh, extreme talking point. They label everybody. Uh, some 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 nasty names so that they uh, can get on a news headlines and stuff like that. It's just a uh, Hollywood stunt. They're not looking out for you. I mean, just just be real here. Don't worship any Hollywood idol. They're they're some of the most horrible human beings on the planet, in my opinion. Some of them are actually good. Some of them are just there to you know perform acts because that's their job and uh pretty uh some of them are pretty good people but others they just uh you know they 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 spread the same lies that mainstream media does they they divide the fan base i mean we shouldn't do that you know and they're talking about division but they themselves are the one that is dividing the country by showing the hatred for another group for different ideas just a bunch of hypocrites that's why I no longer you know watch mainstream media or care much about Hollywood for that matters Hollywood's is pretty much done as far as I can tell you see all the movie they delay now most of it are delayed until like 2021 they're pretty much done. Nobody, nobody care for them anymore. Nobody go to the theater. I mean, I used to spend like hundreds. There are years spend like thousands of dollars going to the movies, enjoying it with my family, my nieces and nephew. But you know, like just this past three years. These Hollywood people, they got so nasty. They got so violent with their rhetoric. They divide. They, they are responsible for dividing America up, them and uh, mainstream media corporates. So I don't believe in them anymore. How far are we in this video? So far, there's no fish bite. There are quite a few people fishing, as you can see. There's absolutely nothing. Whole bunch of people fishing here in the bridge also. But I don't see anybody with fish. So we're 20 minutes in. Let's go to the bridge and see what's up. Let's go near the bridge. We're already at the bridge. Let's go uh, next to it. Go under it. Maybe a, there's fish there. Fish like to hide in dark spot. 
cool spot. Nobody want to hang out. Oh, that's nasty. This whole bunch of trash here. Doesn't seem to be any fish today. There's no bite, no nothing. I haven't seen a fish jump yet. It's a bad sign. Could be absolutely nothing right there. Let's go back to this spot. Okay, so yeah, that's what going on with Trump and uh, mainstream media. Some people say, oh, they don't like his rhetoric. Uh, what's his rhetoric then? What do you don't like about it? Because you don't want to hear the truth. I mean, pretty much everything he said, he just uh, speak his mind. I like people like that because they're more predictable. I don't like the... I don't like the career politician. They they talk their speech. They like to uh, say what you want to hear, not what they actually gonna do. That's a dip difference between Trump and a career politician. If Trump said he hated your face, then it's true that he hated your face. But like a career politician. They'll say they'll love you, they like you, but inside, they have a hatred for you. It's just the way it is. Some people might not like Trump because he speaks the truth, but I like him. If you have a pimple in your face, he's not going to tell you that you're beautiful. <laughs> well, actually, he never said anything like that, but you get my drift. I mean... So yeah, that's the difference between Trump and a career politician. They're two different animals. And I like his rhetoric because I know what's coming. When Trump says something, I know what's coming. Unlike a career politician. They promise a lot of things. They never deliver them. They lie about it. Or they do the opposite of what they say they're going to do. But Trump, so far he has kept his promise. And uh, he, he wanted to do a lot of things, but just look at it. There's a whole group that's in his way to what he want to do, to what he want to change his country. The entire Democrats are against him. That's why he couldn't uh, make a lot of his promise. Some people say, oh, he didn't keep all his promise. Well, you'll see that like, the entire Democratic Party just go against him on every step of the way. If he said one plus one is two, the Democrat gonna say one, one plus one equals three. That's just the way it is right now. I mean, during his uh, three, three year now going on four year term, I see the country flipping upside down. Everything used to be right, it's now wrong. Everything is wrong, used to be 
is now right and those are all caused by the mainstream media and the Democratic Party and recently we have a new judge federal judge uh, Trump picked a new judge and uh, of course to no surprise even before his pick even before knowing her name or his name all the liberal and democratic just cry fouls it's just you know that a bunch of nasty people they don't care about anything they don't care about anyone but themselves because they're losing so much power and I hope Trump get in for another four years so uh, all the crybabies is gonna scream in the sky they're gonna scream for their mommy why or why for absolutely nothing for nothing burger Some people might say Trump is a dictator, he's a Nazi. I mean, just just look at just look at what's going on today in, in America. I mean if Trump's a dictator, a Nazi, I mean he could have just taken out everyone. All the mainstream media corporate, all the Hollywood people, all the people that, that's against him. But he didn't. The Nazi did. They took out everybody that going against the belief. But Trump, he didn't. He didn't do any of that. And even uh, during this uh, pand pandemic, uh, beer virus thing, he le he left the power to the mayor and the governor to decide whether to uh, have a lockdown on the state whether to have a lockdown on the cities and in the counties he left all those power to the governor and mayor so yeah he's not a Nazi you just you're just an idiot if you think he is he's not a dictator you just yeah you just full of BS he left all those power to the uh, governor and mayor to decide you know like just think think about it. if if it were up to Obama or Joe Biden, they would take it into their own hands. They, they would be a total dictator when it comes to that. And would you rather have somebody as strong as Trump or just Sleepy Joe who hide in his basement for a month or so with no sign of life anywhere he spoke to no one he just yeah just hide in his basement he does not nothing to any uh, does nothing to anyone or anybody I mean do you want a leader that just coward and hide in his basement in his basement or someone who's not afraid of anything I mean if you like Trump he's not afraid of anything He's been going now, like I said, he's been going out two or three rallies every week. I mean, no COVID is gonna stop him. He wanted to talk to people and he know the people love him. That's why on every one of his rallies, he's like full of people. Most of them have to stand outside, outside the rally because it's, uh, they're so full inside of the rally, they have to stand outside. Yeah, so that's uh, what's going on in Trump. Uh, how long I'm in this video. Let's reconnect. So I am at 30 minutes. Let's do another five minutes. Am I at 30 minutes? 
the clock's not moving. Oh well, whatever. Uh, let's do another five or ten minutes, and then we're gonna do a part two. I'm probably gonna upload part one today, and then uh, maybe part two tomorrow. So just uh, tell you guys what I do today. I went to Academy just to see uh, what's going on with the uh, ammo situation right now. And to my, I'm not surprised. I'm not really surprised. It's still the same situation. There's uh, almost no commonly ammo, uh, commonly used ammo in stock right now in every store. Sport Academy, local gun store. They just ran out. People are afraid. They're scared for this election. Both sides, to be honest. Oh, the water flying flew into my mouth. Yeah, so uh, they're both afraid uh, what happened in this election. Whoever wins is a loss for everybody. Well, I, I'm, I've never seen anything like this in this country. We used to have like uh, freedom of speech, freedom of thoughts, and when Trump held office, the unhinged left, the far left commie, they ro rose up and just uh, want to destroy this country. They want to take away a right, a freedom to speech, a freedom to bear arms, everything. Well, they don't actually want to talk about guns anymore because they are too packing heat. So, but they want to restrict, restrict people's freedom of speech right now, the far left, because because uh, they don't want people to hear the truth about Trump and I'm going to continue to, to say it like it is on my channel I don't care I mean I have nothing to lose to be honest on my channel I don't have a lot of subscribers so if you're listening to this make sure you like, subscribe and share the video and you know you, you don't get the um, absolute uh, truthful thoughts of what I think about pretty much everything in my channel I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna be a corporate shill I'm not gonna give you a review of a product that I don't like and give a positive review I think you can hear that the guy with a jet boat just uh, ripping it yeah it just uh, caused a whole bunch of wave okay I'm going to change out the battery and uh, we're going to continue on part two. So stay tuned for part two. <laughs>